Yo what's up guys it's Aprix here in today's video we'll be taking a look at the final Winlater 10.0 version of the official Winlater Android which was released just today and this is one of the biggest updates of Winlater Android because finally we have a brand new universal driver which works well with even Mali GPU Android devices especially on MediaTek or Exynos processors. I'll be talking more about it in today's video but before getting started if you guys are new here hit that like button subscribe turn on all notifications as I upload similar videos on my channel. Let's get started. In the changelog, you will be able to see improved task manager, added GPU info for GPU information, added configuration for Vortex, and even Mali GPU support has been added for Vortex. As you will be able to see added support for Mali devices, implemented texture compression, added fixes for Vortex explosion, added fixes for character animations for D3D9 games, added support for some textures along with that fixes, improved compatibility with Mesa and Zing, and even improved performance, which is a complete entire package that is pretty amazing. So right here, I have already added this brand new version of winlater android on my device and if this video reaches 200 likes i'll be testing the winlater 10.0 final build with vortex graphics driver on my mali gpu android device as you'll be able to see this is my redmi k50i video coming soon so make sure to subscribe let's start by setting up this brand new version of winlater android i'll show you guys all the brand new settings and options first of all we'll go to settings and here you'll be able to see 0.3.4 box 64 version is pre-selected but you can also add the latest 0. 3.5 of box 64 so we'll just go and select it and add the newest version of box 64 for better compatibility once that has been done in terms of box 64 preset choose performance duplicate this preset afterwards edit it set the safe flex level to zero as usual after a tap on tick mark let's tap on the plus button and create ourselves a brand new winlater container we'll set the resolution as 854 by 480p now in terms of graphics driver you'll be able to see it says Vortex universal graphics driver just like the Virgil. Now Vortex is definitely better than Virgil because Virgil only supports games up till DirectX 9 whereas I don't think that's the same case with Vortex graphics driver. It is supported for all unsupported Snapdragon as well as MediaTek Exynos processors. So for today's video I'll go with Vortex graphics driver. Vulkan version make sure to set it to version 1.3. Device memory set it to 4GP after a tap on OK. This is the Vortex configuration tab. It will be same even on Mali GPU Android devices. By the way, the device which I am using is Realme GT7 Pro. So the only graphics driver which works on this device is the Vortex graphics driver. In terms of audio driver, we'll set it to Pulse Audio, Enable Show FPS. And in terms of DX wrappers, you'll be able to add the newest versions of DX wrapper. But we'll go with the version 1.10.3 which is the default version. It works the best. Afterwards, we'll just go ahead and go to the advanced settings and here set the Box64 preset as Performance 1 and here in terms of startup selection set it to aggressive afterwards go to drive make sure to add your directory where you have stored your games now simply tap on the tick mark option once that has been done simply tap on the play button to start your brand new winlater android container and here we go guys winlater android 10.0 final build has successfully started now when i saw the final tagline i meant i thought that winlater is ending because obviously it's the version 10.0 but no it's not like that guys final build means just the final version of 10.0 now we'll go to the start section afterwards go to test direct 3d to see how much fps are we getting now i used to get about 2000 fps previously and uh, we are still getting the same amount of fps like 2700 2600 fps which is actually pretty amazing as you can see it says votech adreno 830 gpu i'll just go ahead and tap on the cross button afterwards now let's start testing out some pc games on our android device and here we go guys we have successfully launched grand theft auto 5 that is the game which we'll be playing in today's video so let's toggle full screen go to input controls and make sure to enable virtual gamepad i really hope that the developer has finally fixed virtual gamepad or <laughs> i would be very disappointed i'm not going to lie at all because it's been such a long time since the virtual gamepad was working i think in the previous version 8.0 and 7.0 of winlater android i believe at the top left corner is the fps bar so let's wait until gta 5 starts and i'll be back so guys finally gta 5 has booted and one thing which i noticed is if we swipe back and go to task manager a brand new task manager layout has been added where we get the cpu percentage as well as temperature in degree celsius but now currently it's showing us 60 degrees celsius and i don't think this is appropriate or correct i think this is completely inaccurate other than that we get the memory management system where you'll be able to see about 12 gb of ram is being used and battery percentage and even wattage power wattage is displayed here now this is where the right temperature is being displayed for the battery which is 38 degrees celsius other than that even the task manager layout has been changed but unfortunately there is one change that has not been uh, fixed the virtual game patch do not work still 
Like what's going on? It's been literally six to eight months. It's been a very long time and it still has not been fixed. So we'll go to input controls. You can go to settings. Make sure to tap on import profile. Tap on this option and select the GTA 5.ICP. This is where we can import our on-screen touch control profiles. After you add it, you'll need to restart your emulator. I have already added it as you guys can see. So we'll go back to our container, select the GTA 5 input touch control. And now you'll be able to see this input touch control is indeed working. So there are a lot of stuttering issues because Votec graphics driver is not as good as the Turnip graphics driver. Votec is only meant for uh, experimental purposes for unsupported Android devices and you can never expect full performance from such devices even with Mali GPU. The graphics quality is amazing, I have to say that. Uh, well, let's tap on the enter button. Well, one thing which I'm noticing is that FPS bar is stating we are getting about 52 FPS and I can actually feel it too. So I think the VSync has been turned off, which is the reason why we are getting more than 30 FPS. But there are so many stuttering issues. It is not as good as Game Hub Emulator. I can say this for sure. This is not a playable experience. But what it means is that now DirectX uh, 10 as well as DirectX 11 and 12 games can be finally played on devices with Mali GPU which wasn't possible previously with the help of Virgil graphics driver. So Votec has definitely done bits in terms of emulation. But other than that, this is not a major update. I think in WinLater 11 version, which will be coming out in few months, that will be a pretty epic and major improvement. We even got the native Glipsy support in this version, but still it also was not that great. Uh, the WinLater Glipsy C mode version 7.1.3 is still the best Windows emulator for Android present till now in terms of performance, stability and compatibility. Anyways, do let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts about this brand new version of WinLater Android. And once again, as I mentioned before, if this video reaches 200 likes, I'll test it out on my Redmi K50i. So that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.